While casual reading in the US Strategic Bombing Survey I encountered a very interesting aspect of World War II I wasn't previously aware of. Namely, how the early war in Europe and the German victories had an adverse effect on the Japanese war effort. Now how could the war in Europe affect the Japanese? Well, as you can see on the map, although there is a large distance, there is also a visible connection, the sea. Now the next step is to know about the Japanese dependence on trade. The Japanese home islands lacked most raw materials in either number or adequate quality besides coal. This meant that Japan was highly dependent on foreign trade and since Japan had to use a large amount of its merchant fleet for its war in China, it was more dependent on foreign shipping than during peacetime. Now what did this have to do with the German victories and the war in Europe? Well Germany was fighting the British which had the largest merchant navy in the world at that time. Additionally, the German army invaded the Netherlands and Norway, which had substantial merchant navies that were more often than not used by the British for their war effort. These were not small numbers. About 10% of all imported oil into Britain during the war was transported in Norwegian tankers. This meant that the lack of merchant ships for the Japanese to the war in China was further increased by the war in Europe. Just for 1939 this meant that in three months the total ship tonnage of all nations in the Far Eastern waters dropped from 4,500,000 tons to 3,200,000 tons, the remainder being almost entirely Japanese. In the spring of 1940 the German invasion of Denmark and Norway resulted in the removal by Britain of almost all the few remaining Scandinavian ships in the Far East. Here are some numbers to show you how much the distribution of the Japanese merchant navy changed from 1929 to 1941 due to the war in China and the war in Europe. In 1929 the Japanese traded a total of 4.1 million tons, whereas in the beginning of 1941 it had increased to 5.8 million tons. Yet the total amount of trade with let's call it the rest of the world sank from 1.9 million to 0.7 million. Whereas the trade with the South Sea area went from 0.2 million to 0.9 million. At the same time the yen block rose from 2 million to 4.2 million. Now let's take a look at the percentage because that gives a better insight in this case. As you can see in 1929 46% were used in trading outside of the Southeast Asia area. Whereas this number dropped to a mere 12% of the total in 1941. According to the strategic bombing survey most of these changes were initiated after the start of the Chinese Japanese war. But it was isolated greatly by the effect of the European war in late 1939 and 1940. In 1937 the Japanese carried about 54% of foreign trade within their own merchant fleet. Yet in 1940 this number was already at over 65%. In short the already overstretched Japanese supply lines were further burned by the war in Europe. And this was before the Japanese entered the war against the Allies in December 1941, which required another large amount of merchant ships to supply troops and transport resources from occupied territories like the Philippines. It is important to note that the war in Europe just worsened the situation for the Japanese. And the main motivation with this video is to show you an aspect of interdependency and the global nature of the Second World War that might be easily missed. As always, all sources are linked in the description. If you want to know more about the war in the Pacific, check out my intro video on it. Or maybe take a look at Japanese bomber tactics, which is one of my best illustrated videos so far. Thank you for watching and see you next time.